morning good morning good morning welcome back to another week with me i'm so excited to start this week i say that every time but i really am we are going to trader joe's i need to get dinner for the next few days um we are also going to pop into home goods because i really need some new candles i need some pumpkin-y harvesty i mean yes i did that bath and body works like small candle haul just a month ago i burned through all of those and then i also need to go thrifting so we'll explain more in the car. I'm going to tell you what we're going thrifting for. I need to get dressed. This is just like my loungewear. And we're going to hit the road and run some errands today. So this is what the outfit is for the day. You know what's crazy? I almost got rid of this dress because I felt like well, I'd worn it a few times. I'm over it. I need to stop doing that. I do that with sweaters a lot. I don't know why, but I tend to just get rid of sweaters really easily. I need to stop and I'm, I need to stop doing that because look at how adorable this dress is and I'm so excited to wear it today and it's so soft and so comfortable. It has pockets down here, which I think are hilarious. And yeah, it looks great with this little yellow hat with a pop collar in my harness. I can't believe I was gonna get rid of this. Uh, dash cam is back. I'm heading actually down 6th Ave. It's one of the hippers. There's a few, but it's little shops, little thrift stores. But um, what I'm gonna do today though is I'm first I'm heading, I'm going in to gather Juice Company. I'm grabbing the pumpkin smoothie. I haven't had one this year yet. And I really, really love the pumpkin smoothies at Gather Juice Company and they're the best. We got the goods and I forgot how delicious it is. I took my first sip and I was like, oh my God, like walking down the sidewalk and my knees buckled. On Sunday, I'm doing makeup for the City of Destiny Festival, which I talked about last week and that's the Tacoma Historical Society event. And I'm doing all of the retro like vintage makeup. So I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be so fun. I want to dress up in vintage clothing and yes i have vintage dresses but for this the dresses that i have i really don't want to get makeup on so i'm going to try to find specifically a vintage dress that's dark that i could wear to do makeup in that like if it gets makeup on it i won't cry so yeah we're going vintage shopping and then I have to go to Trader Joe's and then I'm gonna go to Home Goods. So that's the plan for today. Mm. <laughs> Done. It was so good. So yum. All right, so we were at Value Village and we're gonna go see about some sweaters and some vintage for the event. Let's hope we find at least something. are done we have done everything we need to do i'm leaving trader joe's right now home goods had so many cute things oh my gosh they really have the cutest holiday stuff i just it's so hard to not want to buy it all it's adorable there was a witch's hat that was a candle so the top of the hat the lid was the hat does that make sense and i, I i'm gonna regret not getting it just because the like aesthetically it was just so nice it was like this shiny black witch's hat the problem was is it smelled atrocious <laughs> so stinky i would never burn it and i can't bring myself to spending 15 dollars on a candle purely just because i like the way it looked and never use it so i didn't get it and there was actually quite a few of that happening i would say that i'm actually not a fan of halloween candle smell I don't like pumpkin smelling things. I don't like too much cinnamon. I like just the right amount of like autumnal leaves mixed with cinnamon, mixed with like a little bit of vanilla maybe, but most of the Halloween 
fragrance. I like autumn, I like apple, but I, I just can't with the pumpkin. I just, something about it's got a really gross stink to it that I just am not a fan of. So I had like a candle in my hand that said pumpkin on it and it had a really adorable label, but I smelled it and I was like, mm. <laughs> so I ended up going with an apple one and that's definitely more my speed, like harvest, harvest apple crisp. And then I am a pine girl, a cedar girl through and through. If I could just burn cedar, musky, woodsy candles all year round, I would and I pretty much do. Teak wood is usually the one I grab if I see it because it smells so good. What's up? What's that, the most annoying sound ever? Oh my goodness, it sure is. <laughs> oh, can you pick it up? <laughs> Out. New hand soap, tomato vine, and it's glass, not plastic, which is preferred. And it smells so good. And this is the candle I got, spiced apple with the fur. <laughs> so I got two mums to go actually probably out front, but I should get some for the back too, just so that there's some color outside. Probably show you my thrifty things tonight, tomorrow. Tomorrow I have a lot to do. I need to work. <laughs> show you what I got. Now everything that was green tagged was half off so keep that in mind. I've got a couple. Free People is like my style. If I were to say there was a brand out there that if I could only pick one brand to ever shop from it would probably be Free People just because most of the stuff they have I just love. So anyway this is a Free People shirt and this is why I say shop in all sections because this is a small but for Free People a small is meant to wear really baggy so somebody who is a small if they put this on it would really give them that cool baggy look like this but for someone like me who's a large when you put on a Free People small it actually still looks baggy <laughs> honestly so I just I feel like in Free People you could shop any size it's fair game look how big this is and so now obviously you see the cutaways. This thing fits me really well. It's just really fitted. Now if this was somebody who was a small, it would probably just hang down a little bit lower so you could really tuck it in. But I don't know if the front tuck where it's like half in, half out is really in style anymore. I was seeing some things, people saying that it's not. Do what you like and what you enjoy. And I still love a front t-shirt tuck because it just kind of looks flattering. But now it's like no one likes it anymore. <laughs> And for me, I prefer this out. I don't like it tucked in. I think it looks really nice out. And if you're feeling a little bloated that day, it's the perfect shirt for it because it covers your belly. It's, it could be the scarecrow for Halloween if you want. Just, if you want to be the scarecrow for Halloween, just go buy free people. <laughs> you will get to, <laughs> you'll be the most stylish scarecrow out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Ah, um, and then this was on sale. This was in the Halloween section because they had like an animal print area. And I always check the Halloween section for vintage because that is where they hide it. Don't get me started on it, but that is where they hide a lot of it. And this isn't vintage. It's just Ann Taylor, but I really like it. I think it's kind of like that perfect just pull it over top of a dress. If I'm popping out for something real quick and I just need a layer, it's kind of like a giant cape scarf. This is in the Halloween section. Vintage, you guys, vintage. Look at this, look, look. It's a vintage freaking beautiful wool sweater. Oh, it's glorious. You guys, it's glorious. You can tell, you can just tell. If you have an eye or a feel for vintage things, it's like a magnet. But yeah, this thing is, oh, it's just so pretty. It's pretty, maybe not the word, but cozy beautiful it's be it's a cra very crafted very well made cardigan vintage sweater and i looked it up i did the google search thing it's from dale of norway it's a scandinavian 100 percent wool cardigan and it goes for roughly about 200 dollars on poshmark i paid 14 but this is beautiful i'm so excited about it. it needs it needs a cleaning this i really liked 
This one I looked up as well and did the Google Lens thing and it was 50 bucks brand new in a store called Olivia or Olive, but it um, doesn't have the label attached any longer. And I feel like a lot of times people do that when it's Shein and that pisses me off because you can't get past me with a Shein sweater. I can feel that it's Shein. <laughs> I can tell if it's Lulu Rose, okay? But this was $8.99 and I got it for half off. It's like a little puff sleeve, pleated shoulder moment and it's balloon style so it comes down to a cuff. It's really nice and it feels really nice. I don't know what this fabric is. Hopefully I can get the information a little bit, know a little bit more about it, but just really lovely sweater. This I'm super stoked about so I said I wanted to find something to wear to the event this weekend. I wanted something black. I wanted something mostly vintage if I can find vintage but vintage a la 1990s is fine and that's what this is. This is a 1990s velour velvety kind of black dress. It's it's a pretty big dress for me and it was in the triple XL section but I, I don't even look up at the sizes anymore. I just go through the rack so I don't even care because I will find things. I found a free people shirt that fits me and I found a triple XL dress that is very loose, very baggy. And I loved this more than I expected to like. Oh, battery's dying. Okay, battery's back. So anyway, um, yeah, this fit me way better than I had expected to. It was so comfortable. I love how long it is. It's really long to the ground. I'm not gonna cut it. I'm not gonna alter this in any way. I really like it just the way it is. It is very witchy. It's definitely giving like Stevie Nicks, you know? And I love that for me. <laughs> it's so soft. It has like a little latch in the back kind of, but I can't, it doesn't like work. You can't undo it. So it counts, okay? It's not what I was thinking, but it counts and it's black and it, that's kind of what I was going for. So I could wear something collared with it underneath this would be really nice. So we're gonna style her up black velvet. <laughs> I can't wait to style it. I think it's the main thing. I saw this really pretty black dress that was actually vintage. Like I think maybe, hmm, maybe um, 70s. It was beautiful. What? You scared me! All right. Well, that's enough about that. This is the last thing. And then I'm going to go relax because it's, it's been a long day. This, uh, yet another cardigan. And this, again, was oversized. But it just, oh, you guys. I love this so much. It's so soft. I can't even tell you how soft it is and what a lovely sweater. I'm picturing, okay, Thanksgiving. We're with family. We've got our eggnog, which we do non-alcoholic eggnog. And we have our eggnog. We have our apple pie. We just had Thanksgiving dinner. We're in a food coma and we're about to put a movie on with the family and the fireplace is on and the candles are lit and we're cozy. And I've got some new PJs on, maybe like some new joggers and like a little camisole underneath and this and I'm chilling with my eggnog. You feel me? That is the vibe and it goes all the way down my ass. Like it covers my butt completely. I can wear this as a dress and that's the goal. <laughs> anyway, Marvin loves his little orange ball. This is your pumpkin. It's the most annoying squeak. Why did I do this to myself? Is that yours? Yeah. Do you love it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> do you love yeah. it, Marvy? You get that ball. You get that ball. You love it? Oh, <laughs> you do? Anyway, I'm gonna go relax now. Uh, that was a great haul. <laughs> Good job. I was about to do my hair and I thought I would show you guys how I crimp it. I've also had someone on TikTok request how I do the pillow curls, which honestly is really just putting them in the 
curler my hair in the curlers and sleeping on it and then brushing it out the next day so i'm putting in the living proof heat styling spray i swear by this stuff now because i've seen the results within like a week of using it i noticed a difference in my hair um and i now feel like i can actually style it without damaging it what is the heat temperature this gets to okay so 450 and i've got this at 375 so it can even protect beyond what the heat is on this but this is just a crimper and i think you guys know the drill anyway i'm all dressed i'm um, not wearing any bra or anything i'm in really comfortable clothes because i'm gonna go lay and get tattooed for the next few hours honestly i don't ever really get nervous about the tattoo especially now that i know where i'm going i get nervous about the drive it's just i don't like the interstate i hate the commute and then i'll show you how i kind of fluff it up when i'm done all right so now that the hair is all curled i haven't done anything to it i just curled it because i wanted you guys to see i have this mirror i got this at ikea and you just like bolt it into the wall and that way you don't miss the back of your head because so many times i thought i got everything and i see a strand that i missed before i got started i did put the thickening let's get thickening Fall season six let's get thickening Every time I say thickening, I think of Laganja Lestranja. <laughs> Let's, Let's get, get thickening and then like that drop. But I put that on my head before. You can also just use your fingers if you don't want it to get like as fuzzy. But I like to just do this because I'm about to separate it anyway. We have some of the triple sec finishing spray. And we are just going to lift the hair and let it fall as we spray and from the sides and then we're going to take some of this this is a air dry weightless shine cream and it smells so good and tame it and the reason why i do all of that is because i don't want the curls to be super tight up underneath i want volume because for me having curly crimped hair like this gives me an opportunity to have volume that I otherwise don't usually have because I have thin hair but when you curl it doesn't it look thick like I look like I have naturally really thick hair and I don't even come close to it it gives you that volume that you always wanted when you're somebody with thin hair isn't this great I feel like Carrie Bradshaw <laughs> But see how it, like now it's kind of tamed that, but if I just want to do this, that, that triple sec, this is still kind of in my hair and I can just do this and it just gives it a little bit of a wild fluff. Very Carrie Bradshaw. I love it. It's what I've been doing all week and it's my favorite, it's my favorite hairstyle. Something that looks cute too is just taking these little pieces and clipping it back and doing this moment. Hang on, bangs. Doing something like that. Isn't that cute? Just pull it back like that. Oh, and I was gonna tell you guys, when I got this at the freaking um, Home Goods, tomato vine, but I had no idea. Sorry if there's like a shot of the toilet behind me. It's not the cutest. Um, but tomato vine soap is where it's at. This hand soap smells so good. If you have a home goods near you or you can you get your hands on aroma aria is the name of the brand I'm, I'm pretty sure though any tomato tomato vine anything i love tomato like if i have fresh tomatoes in my garden i just huff the leaves and the vines because i love the smell of freaking tomato vine and so when i saw that they have this i was like yes and it's oh it smells so good <laughs> This is literally just gonna be a five minute hello. I just wanted to show you the tattoo, but I've got a lot of work to do in preparation for tomorrow's event. So it's gonna be a lot of like makeup cleaning and uh, printing out the looks I wanna do for each model because they sent in all of the styles. So you guys will see all that tomorrow, but let me show you the tattoo. Basically, <clears throat> we basically got this side done. Well, not done, but 
Um, he had to add a lot of new lines. So all of this that like went up on my ribs <laughs> was new, a little bit ouchy. Uh, filled this in, filled this in, color all that in. Thank you, sir. It's Marvin's birthday. Well, tomorrow, but I'm gonna be busy. So it's your birthday weekend. And I already got you a Halloween toy, but we're gonna get him all sorts of stuff and celebrate because we, we celebrate their birthdays every year. Are we going for a birthday walk in the rain? Are we going for a birthday? Oh, he's shut down. <laughs> he's shut down. <laughs> he said, I hate it. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> You look so cute though. It's fine. See, you can walk. <laughs> it completely shut down. All right, let's go on a dog walk. The <laughs> 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 Here's the outfit. I think this is officially my new favorite. My new favorite dress. It's so comfortable. I love that it's like oversized and baggy. I'm not gonna harness it because of the tattoo. But yeah, it looks like velvet, soft. Isn't that nice? There's my sexy husband. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah, outfit. I gotta get going soon. Thought I'd show you guys before I did. Some boots. Cozy. I guess I'm 90s. I'm not really an era. I'm just the makeup artist. Elevated with cord covered buttons 
and a black rope rain bow. He is wearing a bright and colorful side of a 60s fashion with a summer mini mode style floral dress with ruffled collar and matching fabric sash. With this matching orange two-piece pantsuit straight from the pages of the 1971 JCPenney catalog. From her own private collection, THS director Jessica is rocking a classic white 1980s puppy jacket over a pink striped jumpsuit from the brand Clothesline. Next, we move into the 1990s. THS volunteer April graces the stage with the Pacific Northwest's own 1990s wrench look. Inspired by the local garage bands of the day, such as Nirvana. Now I'd like to invite all our models, Kate and Velvet Martini Vintage, and Sienna off to the stage for a final bow and a great view. I just wanted to quickly say goodbye and just tell you a couple of things. First of all, I loved the area that we got to do all of that in. That backdrop looked really cool. I just peeked at some of the footage. I had a major malfunction with one of the products that I brought. That was the key. I'm spitting. <sighs> to get this like mod twiggy look, I wanted a really, really bright color on the lid with a cool graphic. My black liquid liner stopped working. I think the last wedding I did officially like you know killed it so that didn't work which is fine I have backups but it's not as precise as the one that I like on top of the fact that this product that I got this liquid liner I got to put all over the lid to get the look that I wanted turned out to be the worst thing I've ever put on somebody before it was so horrible it separated it was flaky it doesn't build on top of itself Nothing can go on top of it. If you put anything over it, it comes off. I struggled with this product so hard, I considered starting over, but then I didn't have time. So it just turned into a bit of a nightmare. And when that happened, it just kind of like took a turn for me. It was feeling a little bit of like, what am I gonna do? Cause this was like what I had planned on using for most my liners, my, my eyeshadows. This was my plan and it, didn't work. I put them straight in the trash, like I threw them away. And then when I went to go get video of the whole thing, and then I got luckily most of the fashion show, but at the end they brought me up on stage and I got to say like, hey, you know, and take a bow. My camera stopped recording. <laughs> but I'm just glad I got anything at all. I got some really cool footage of the women who were spinning the yarn. Um, and so because it has so much air, it's also very insulating, but it's not that strong. Yeah. That to me was like one of the most fascinating things about that experience was like seeing people making fabric and thread. I think that's just so cool. I didn't want to um, film the vendors so I didn't like go up to them and film them. I just I didn't feel comfortable but I think you could see from above that there's a lot of people there set up but I think it all turned out great honestly when you I look back at some of the footage and makeup looked fine but to me it's like I want it to look like it's for a magazine I know that I don't have the time if I had you know if this was a shoot day for a big campaign or some wedding event or something like that you are given the allotted time you need to do this look from beginning to end and really perfect it so I need to remember that this was just quick stage fun thing I did it for free because I wanted to volunteer for my local nonprofits and also network with people locally. I, I just got a little bit hung up in my own head. Um, it was great. Everybody's outfits looked amazing. Everybody looked so cute. They did such a good job on their hair and it was just a fun thing to be a part of. That's all I've got for this week. Uh, stay tuned for next week. I've already got some ideas for some fun stuff so I hope you return and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.